This is video number three of the Consolidated Blogging Tips series. If you don't know what this blogging series is all about, I urge you to watch the intro video of this series where I talk a bit about it. I also urge you to watch the previous two videos in this series. I will leave a link to those videos in the description below. This series will have seven videos and in each video I will share five blogging tips that you absolutely need to succeed with blogging. For now, let's jump right into the five tips of this week. I am Jane, the founder of Jane Shiba Media and my mission here is to help you get real, real, real success with business and life. If you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon for notifications so you don't miss out on the valuable videos I publish. Tip number 11 is to start build an email list right from the beginning. This is a dumb mistake I myself made when I started this business in 2007. Somehow, I was thinking that I should only start building an email list when I get a certain number of visitors per day. At that time, I was getting about 100 visitors per day and I was waiting it out. I didn't do anything to start building my email list for about two years since I started this business. Can you imagine how many subscribers I left out? And when I put up my first opt-in form, I got about 82 subscribers in the first few hours. So now you know. Tip number 12 is design a clean blog. Clutter is dangerous and it can instantly turn people off your site. And there are numerous beautifully designed, visually appealing and clutter-free websites on the internet. And people are used to seeing clutter-free websites. Anything that creates clutter is going to be a strain on their eyes especially as more and more people are beginning to use mobile devices to access the internet, it is very important to go clutter-free. Analyze your website and see if there's anything that adds to clutter. And this includes annoying pop-ups, not all pop-ups, as that are cluttered in the website, use of unnecessary widgets, use of too many colors. I can go on, but you get the idea. Tip number 13 is to have conversion elements in place. You blog to attract traffic and you get the traffic. But what if the traffic comes and goes by? It is wasted traffic, right? You absolutely cannot afford to waste all the hard work you do to get traffic and then let the traffic slip through your fingers without taking any action. You have to take all the action necessary to convert that traffic. So what's conversion? It could be anything depending upon the purpose of your blog. You might want your visitors to sign up for your email list. In that case, you have to put up opt-in forms at appropriate places in your website. If it is about your product sales, then you have to put up the right call to actions, inviting people to check out your products or your sales pages at appropriate places on your website. You get the idea. Tip number 14 is to answer your readers' questions. One of the easiest and straightforward ways to uh, empathize with your readers and to make them connect to you and your content, you have to answer their questions directly. And by answering your readers' queries directly, you instantly boost the usefulness of your blog's content. After all, if readers can find the answers to their questions on your blog, they are simply going to love it. Tip number 15 and the last tip for this week is to keep yourself in the loop and read other blogs in your niche. For instance, if you run a fashion blog, it is highly crucial that you keep yourself updated of the latest fashion trends. Also, it is highly crucial that you keep yourself updated of any search engine updates, a new SEO technique, or any new feature or a theme that is related for fashion bloggers and so on. This will help you stay on top and keep up with your competitors in implementing new things. That's all for this week and here is a recap of the five blogging tips. Tip number 11 is to start building an email list right from the beginning. Tip number 12 is to design a clean, clutter-free blog. Tip number 13 is to have conversion elements in place. Tip number 14 is to answer your readers' questions. Tip number 15 is to keep yourself in the loop by reading other blogs in your niche. I'll meet you in the next video with five blogging tips that you absolutely need to succeed with blogging. Whatever happens, remember that you are awesome and unbeatable. Until next video, it's bye from Jane.